Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, fully close a job. What you're going to want to do is open the charges screen of the job you want to close. And um, here we have Jane Doe, who moved on July 1st, 2013. So the first step is to go to Operations. And you're going to want to fill out the workers that worked on the job, or you can assign the trucks, um, and put the total hours here as well. So let's just go ahead and assign some workers. This is a demo, so there's going to be a lot of random information in here, but we'll go ahead and assign um, a couple of workers here. So we'll do Avi as a helper, and we'll do Rocky as a foreman. Submit workers to save, and go ahead and put the total hours that they worked. Let's say the job took seven hours. Okay, submit pickup then it displays, uh, that refreshes the screen so it displays the workers, it would display the trucks if you assign trucks, um, and the total hours so that, that the job took. Now you're going to want to go to wages. When you click on wages it's going to generate the payroll for the workers. It'll calculate their hours and their hourly rate which is set up in the workers table under maintenance. Um, and if anything needs to be changed on this screen you would uh, press submit wages Otherwise, you would just continue to job completion. The job completion page is very crucial. Um, this is the page that you generate all of your uh, final totals. So here we're going to put, um, let's say the job took a total of seven hours in the end. Maybe we only used two men. Anything, okay? Um, any other charges, if anything applies, like materials, let's say, you know, you charge them 50 bucks. Okay, uh, you've got a discount here, $25, maybe you ran a special promo. Anything. Submit completion. Then you've got your new total, your new balance of $785 that the customer should pay you. Um, now, assuming they've paid, what you're going to want to do is go to payments and select the date that they paid which we'll just put oops January 1st and select how they paid so if it's cash or credit card how much did they pay 785 update payment then you're gonna see the transaction uh, down here which you can click on an administrator can always click on that to edit the remarks or things like that once that's done, you can go back to job completion and you can just review the information one more time. Here it shows the total customer payments for the move, which was 785, so that's good. So there's zero balance. And just as an FYI, this side here on the right is just inform informative. It doesn't change anything else, so it's not going to change any of the charges like this section would. But here we'll just go ahead and put for information purposes that it also took seven hours. Okay, so now you are ready to close the job. Just click that green button. Yes, we want to continue. Okay, great. So now the job is closed and an administrator can release a closed job if an edit needs to be made or whatnot. Um, and then uh, it will always display closed on the operations calendar as well. And that's how you close a job.